Hello lovely soul. Today is February 12th, 2021. This is the 12th day of my new daily offering. I tap into the messages and energies from various symbols and sources, as always with my messages guided by the High Council. Comprised of Archangels, Gaia and other Ascended Planetary representatives from other star systems, Ascended Masters, Galactics, Fae, Animal Spirits, and the Dragons. Yesterday's Energy Update and Spiritual Guidance You can find my daily energy report and guidance here on Medium.com, on my podcast and YouTube. This is today's Energy Update and Spiritual Guidance. Today's energies are as follows. Sign Pisces. Element. Water. Symbol, Horn of Plenty Abundance. Angel number 6. An Oracle Messages for Abundance. The guided astral meditation for yesterday's new moon is available now on my podcast and YouTube channel. You can do this meditation at any time, so if you didn't get to it on the new moon, just get to it as soon as you are able. Today is different. Yesterday's meditation so very intense, with a ton of energy, body work done with a ton of light activations. In case you are new to me and haven't done the meditations I facilitate it is important to note that I do not design the meditations. Ever. I simply show up, and then I tune into what comes to me from my own guides and guardians, the High Council. In yesterday's meditation we were quickly put into a what they call the light chamber and over the course of the meditation that is 1 hour and 11 minutes, not by my design, we connected to and worked on deeply activating the abundance matrix, we had embedded crystal activations, including filtering through the diamond light that I saw beginning on February 2nd, 2012, at the end we get into a space with our tree of life. And finally we finish with the Fire Phoenix Integration's major releasement and renewal energies for our resurrection took place. Needless to say, it was intense. It felt amazing and was so uplifting. I really hope that you were or are guided to do it and join in with those energies soon. Because I dedicated so much time and energy to facilitating this practice, and then dealing with the technical issues all along the way after with the audio recording. Then the video and in general technology was seriously acting up and taking a lot of time and energy. None of it really bothered me, it was a bit frustrating, but I was riding so high and was vibing at such a light vibration that it just passed by, and it took as long as it took. However, once everything was posted, I was very tired and needed to rest. After my much needed nap I was not guided to work on today's energy update like I had planned. I was guided to stay away from my computer for the entire night and work on art instead. This made perfect sense, given the activations from earlier in the day. Again I thought I would get up early and get to the energy report, but as I work on it I am guided to change it up a bit for today, given how late it is, exactly 12-12 on the 12th, as I write this. Wow! So today instead of getting into a crystal and a tarot card we worked with 7 crystals for each chakra yesterday in the meditation more on those in another article, we are going to pull a couple of oracle cards for our guidance. Today's Moon The Moon is in Aquarius until 2.23 am, after which the Moon is in Pisces. The Void Moon period continues until 2.23 am, since yesterday at 2.05 pm. The moon is waxing and in its new phase. The new moon occurred yesterday in the sign of Aquarius. Moon in Pisces, a mutable water sign. This is a period of divine love, for yourself, Gaia, your brothers and sisters of the light, all of humanity, and of course bringing in your divine partnerships or getting deeper and more intimate working on releasing fears and getting vulnerable realizing more and more that love is nothing to fear. If you are in a partnership that you are unsure about, now is the best time to make some real assessments about how to proceed. There's nothing wrong with ending things if you don't feel that it's the right relationship this could go for both romantic, platonic, friends or business partnerships. If this is a love relationship, check out my recent video featuring guidance from our spirit animals, the lion, the wolf, 
The Horse and the Elephant available on my YouTube channel. Link in the description of this podcast. Today's symbol, horn of plenty abundance. Whether regarding love or money, we are getting the energies today about abundance. No surprise here given that yesterday we worked so hard in meditation to connect with the abundance matrix. Dropping fears around money and working on our individual money wound is at the top of the list for what we all need to work on in healing. Consider cutting cords to people, situations and experiences that hold a negative charge about money or finances. You can group or batch these energies. See my ebook, The Importance of Cutting Energy Cords and the Companion Updated Guided Astral Meditation Healing Practice that I facilitated via my podcast. Today's angel number. Angel number 6. Number 6 is associated with abundance in all forms, you can see it as pregnant with ideas. Tap in with the number 6 during the above practice or on your own to allow for more positive, creative, wealthy abundance to enter your life. The following is information directly from via Joanne Sacred Scribes. Number 6 is related to the vibrations and energies of unconditional love, balance and harmony, home and family, domesticity, parenthood, guardianship, service to others, selflessness, responsibility, nurturing, care, empathy and sympathy, self-sacrifice, humanitarianism, the ability to compromise, emotional depth, honesty and integrity, adjustment, stability, poise, protection, firmness healing, idealism, just and justice, conscientiousness, burden fearing, solution finding, problem solving, seeing clearly, teaching, convention, curiosity, peace and peacefulness, circulation, grace and dignity, simplicity, reliability, material needs and economy, providing and provision, agriculture and growth, musical talent. Number 6 relates to problem solving and signifies the need for stability in all aspects of your life. Angel number 6 brings a message from the angels to keep a balance between your material goals and aspirations, and your spiritual, inner self. Respect yourself and others by taking responsibility for your own life and be honest and fair in all of your dealings. Be grateful for what you have already. As an attitude of gratitude encourages further positive abundance into your life. When the angel number six appears it tells of the ability to use the intellect to bring about positive outcomes in your life. Be open to angelic signs and signals, maintain a positive attitude, and trust that opportunities will present themselves that will allow you to meet your material and financial needs. Trust that all will be provided for as you take care of and serve yourself and others, and as you pursue your divine life purpose and soul mission. Angel number 6 encourages you to be loving, caring and nurturing of yourself and others. Oracle Messages for Today I was guided to pull four cards from Angels of Abundance Oracle by Doreen Virtue. First card, Release Resentments About Money Yes The money system of the world can seem upsetting, but holding resentments about finances just pushes your abundance away. Instead, see money as a tool you can use to better the world, and this shift will help you attract support and golden opportunities. Second card, Bountiful Nature Spending time in nature helps shift you in a higher vibration and reminds you of Mother Father God's infinite abundance. Go outside and enjoy a walk or a hike with your pet, mediate beneath a tree, garden, sit under the stars, or do some other activity to connect with the limitless vastness. Third card, clean energy food. When you fuel your body with a healthful organic diet, you increase your energy levels and ability to focus. This automatically leads to more agency and better ideas, a higher vibration which attracts golden opportunities and beneficial relationships. Fourth card, Sever Vows of Poverty Dear one, there's no need to suffer or sacrifice. Hold the intention of undoing any vows of poverty or self-denial that you may have made, consciously or unconsciously in any lifetime. As you do so, all effects of these vows will be undone for everyone involved in all directions of time. Messages from your Spirit Guides for February 12, 2021 
Dear One The February Stargate ends today, as a new one opens up for the next 11 days until the February 22, 2021 portal. 2222 Divine Union Activations These next 11 days are designed to clear energies that keep you energetically blocked from your divine unions, and your soul missions. The Abundance Matrix has and is getting the first significant boost of the year with yesterday's new moon. The work you did intentionally with Gaia in meditation, will assist the ongoing incoming energies to solidify within you. Take the messages received from the oracle above as directly as you can from us to you. Release resentments about money. Choose to see it as a light weapon, not something that is dark. Think of all the good you can do for yourself, your loved ones and the collective if you have an abundance of money to work with. Go out into nature, feel the sun and its light codes washing over you to activate further integration within your body. Take time to go out at night and sit under the stars and connect with your galactic family. Rid your body of lower vibrational foods. Be aware of what you consume becomes you, and so does the energy attached to it. Listen to your body and recognize when you are no longer to partake of the foods that you once were. Meat, dairy, processed foods, all have a very low vibration, and if you notice that your energy levels drop, you become depressed or generally feel heavy after reading certain foods, then it is time to come to terms with what feels good to you and what does not. Sever ideas and the vows of poverty, release the idea that you live in a state of lack, know that you are always taken care of, release the fears that you are not and that you need to worry about your future. Concentrate on knocking down walls that keep you in fear, feeling lack or cause you to worry about your shelter, health, food or money. There is a divine plan for each of you, and an abundance of love and wealth is part of that plan for all of you. With love and light. Your spirit guides. Meditation. It is strongly advised that you complete the new moon meditation prior to doing this one so your system can integrate this healing practice to its full capacity. Sit outside if possible. Connect with Gaia and her crystalline abundance grid. Call in your guides and guardians for support and to help keep negative energies away. Imagine the horn of plenty with the money that you see in the affirmation for today suspended before you. Notice any walls, blocks, even people or past traumas that keep you from receiving from the horn of plenty. Make sure you notice yourself, and see how you may stand in your own way. One by one, with intention. Move each obstacle out of the way between you and the horn of plenty. Notice how it begins to react to the blocks being removed, and begin to flow out and over you. Let the shower of wealth in all forms fall all around you. Soak in the positive energies of money, that is all there is. See the money all around you as golden light vehicles for the divine, and how it is yours to work with and tap into. It is yours, there is enough for you and everyone else. No need to feel greedy as the pile of money gets higher and higher. Finally, soak in all the money into your field. Accept that it is yours, and you will do and be what you are meant to be with the power of your abundance freely flowing. Thank your guides and guardians, and Gaia for loving and supporting you. Happy 12th of February, lovely soul, I truly hope it's magical for you. Please post any questions in the comments. Thank you for reading today's messages see you tomorrow. Thank you for being guided to receive these messages today. Please share with others as you are guided. FF you find you find yourself returning to this podcast, value in the messages, meditations and general guidance I provide on my podcast, please be so kind as to review my podcast, and leave a comment. Don't forget to subscribe to my medium.com, YouTube. Instagram and my website so you never miss out. Please help me and the collective out by engaging in my posts with likes, shares and comments. The only way to get more exposure is by my current followers engaging in what I provide to you all. I truly appreciate it your effort and support. As always, donations are graciously and lovingly accepted. Please see the links in the description to all of my profiles and to donate if you are so guided.
If you resonate with the vibrations of these messages, please visit my website to download my four new and free ebooks. 1. The Essential Empath Guide. 2. What is Psychic Attack and How to Eliminate Negative Energy? 3. The Spiritual War, the Light, the Dark, and Your Energy. 4. The Importance of Cord Cutting with Guided Astral Meditation Practice. Infinite Love and Blessings. Don't forget the key is to create and I love you already. Forever and always. Infinity.